Hey there guys, it's me, Ash Brown here. We're, we're gonna be doing some paper folding, or as Japanese call it, origami, but I'm gonna call it paper folding because I'm not Japanese. Today we're gonna be making an arrow, or for the pretentious of you, a pen. I don't care, use it as a deadly weapon, use it as a thing. This, I do not care. I'll just be teaching you how to fold it. To make your arrow, we need to start off with a piece of paper. Get a regular letter-sized sheet of paper and fold it in half like this. And then cut it around, along this margin. You should get this kind of piece of paper. To begin, we are going to fold it in half this direction and crease it. Then, I'm gonna fold it upwards from here to here. And you crease that as well. Creasing is very important origami, if you haven't heard. Uh, you fold this corner to the margin you have made here. Like that. You don't need to uh, make this margin if you are... if you have enough object permanence. Just adjust that so both sides will look nice. Um, get this. Just make that equal. Flip it over. Now, you have to move this side to here. Touch the quarter to the margin in the center, but not this part. This stays at the edge. So, do it the best you can. Try to make this part go as high as it possibly can. Just... So now you have this structure. Then we fold this corner to the margin, like so. Do the same for the other side. Then fold this edge, to, this edge here, to this the outer part of the thing. and fold this part to the other part. If you couldn't figure out figure it out already, we're making the uh, uh, blade of the arrow, if you could call it that. I'm not a weapons expert, so I just call it the blade. Now we fold these two parts inside into the middle. It, it gets harder here because the folding becomes more uh, how do I say this? Hard, I guess. Just more... Wumbo. As the cool kids call it. Now take one flap and completely unfold it. Like, take everything out. Everything. And then wrap it around so it looks symmetrical. So it looks symmetrical when you flip it over. Keep wrapping this piece around. And keep it tight. Now here's where the glue's needed. Glue stick. Elmer's brand. You don't need a brand though. Uh, font sued by Elmer's. I'm just saying this is the glue I have. I'm too, too small of a channel to be sponsored by anyone, let alone a glue company. Keep gluing this and glue this to the center. And you have your shaft. Looks kind of similar. Now put this aside, and we need to make a roll, or at least the shaft, this part of the thing. So we will take this piece of paper that I used in the example, and start rolling it from this corner. Try to make your rolls as compact as possible. Um, so I finished rolling it. You, you have to try testing it by squishing it to see if it's um, compact or not. If a little, if it gives away a little bit, then it's fine. But if it like squishes a, a lot, then it's best to at least start rolling. So now you have the shaft and this thing. There should be a small hole over here. Stick. Attempt to stick this inside here. Sometimes it helps if you flatten this part, 
and glue it, but I won't do that. It's only if it's uh, really hard. Stick it in as much as you can without tearing anything, and you've got your origami arrow.